Hey guys, it's Jeff from Austin Vegetation. So I just woke up not too long ago and I had some glasses of water and now I'm sitting down with some amazing looking cherries. I saw these at the store yesterday and I just couldn't help myself. I picked them up. They are amazing. I already had some. Um, so I'm going to sit down with this bowl of cherries and I think I'm going to go on a short bike ride after I eat these and then I'll come back and maybe have like another breakfast. Maybe I'll have like a smoothie or I'll eat some apples. My bananas might not be ripe yet. Whew, it's so hot today. I think it's supposed to be like 91 today. I'm already like drenched in sweat and I didn't even ride that far yet. But it's still been really amazing um, besides all of the cicadas that I've been running into. There's so many. I don't know. You might be able to see them buzzing around in the background. But yeah, it's still been really nice. I've been listening to some 90s music, which is probably one of my favorite um, things to listen to when I'm riding my bike. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to head back now because it's already like super hot and I didn't really want to ride that far today. So for my second breakfast, I'm going to have a smoothie. It's a really basic smoothie. All it is is just some frozen strawberries, four bananas, a handful of spinach, a cup of cashew milk, and just a little bit of water. And it's a really basic smoothie just to throw together really easily. And I had some frozen strawberries that I had to use, so I just decided to use those. Um, this isn't a smoothie that I would normally make. I would rather have cherries than this because I love cherries. Um, but yeah, it's still tasty, so I think I'm going to drink this, and then I'm going to do some video editing, and I really don't have anything else planned for today. So for lunch, I made this green lentil pasta, and it's not really my favorite. It's actually this stuff right here, and when you cook it, it gets kind of gummy, so I probably won't ever buy this stuff again. It's pretty expensive, too. Um, so I just cooked the pasta with some broccoli chopped up some cherry tomatoes, just put some herbs and spices on it, and a whole bunch of nooch so it came, made it kind of like a cheesy-esque flavor. I actually kind of make this pasta pretty regularly. So here's my dinner guys, and this is one of my all-time favorite dinners. So I got some marinated tofu and mushrooms here, and I marinated them in some liquid aminos, and some seaweed, and some hot sauce. And I got some store-bought kimchi going on over here and I mixed in some red onions and red peppers into it. I got some spinach for some green. I got some avocado going on for some nice creaminess and it's all on an amazing spread of rice. And this is gonna be just so delicious. And I drizzled on some sriracha for an extra kick. So as a little bit of a dessert slash snack, I decided to make this like banana smoothie. Um, all it is is bananas, cashew milk, and some lemon juice. So it's like creamy and lemony. It's really tasty. I really wanted to make nice cream, but I only had like two frozen bananas and that really wasn't enough. So I added a regular banana to it and just kind of made it into a smoothie. It's really tasty. And I kind of got this idea of adding lemon juice to this from Janine from Banana Wisdom. She did like a video on it or maybe it was something on her Snapchat, but it's a great idea. This is super tasty. So it's bedtime guys. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe here at Lost in Vegetation to keep up with me, Jeff, and all my vegan content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I can't begin to imagine how hard it is for you right now. Seeing all the photos of everybody